Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be filming another makeup challenge video and today I'm gonna to be filming one that I'm pretty sure has been going around for a really long time, like loads of people have filmed this, but I've just never done it and you guys are always asking me to do it. And that is a full face of makeup chosen blindfolded. So my makeup is normally in my makeup drawers. However, at the moment I'm currently like halfway through going through the process of like tidying it up. So I took every single item out because it was such a mess, like it wasn't organized at all. Took everything out and my first step was to organize everything into categories. So my makeup is currently in a bunch of Sainsbury's carrier bags because that's just the easiest way that I could like get it all into categories, ready to then like put it back in the drawers. I just wanted to explain why they're in carrier bags. That is why they are gonna go back and when they go back, I will film the makeup collection video. I'm gonna put on my little eye mask, it says my name on it, and yeah, I've gotta get it over my bun, this could be interesting. Okay, so the first category is kind of like, I mean, I don't really know what to call it, but it's kind of like a mixture of stuff that you'd put on before you do your foundation. So we've got some primers, some color correcting things, some spray things, I don't even know, some bronzy bits. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick out of this bag first and whatever I get, is what I'm gonna put on before I do my foundation. Okay, I think I know what this is actually. I think I know exactly what this is. It might be what I think it is. If it is, I'm hoping I've picked the lighter one because I've got a light one and a dark one. Let's go. So the thing that I chose for my before foundation thing um, is this. This is the Iconic Prep Set Glow Spray. I, I don't even really know how to use it if I'm honest. I'm just gonna wing it. I never use stuff like this. This is the lighter one. I'm pretty sure there is a darker one which probably would have been a bit too dark for me so and well I don't know if it would have actually I don't really know how it works but you basically give it a shake I believe look at that go I mean it's great fun if anything it's great fun but just seems so unnatural to spray something into your face like <laughs> hi I'm just mmm <laughs> smells delicious oh my goodness that smells very nice, but should I do a bit more? Not much really came out. There we go. I mean, yeah, I do look a bit more of a, of, of a, of a glow. I look a little bit more glowy, a little bit extra to my already rather shiny face because it is smoking hot today. <laughs> so smoking hot is really warm, but that has added a nice little, little glowy bit. So this one's a little bit harder to see than the rest because I put it in like a slightly sturdier bag because I thought foundations, you know, if they're crashing about, we don't want to have a little accident. So it's in like this bag, but these are all of my foundations and I'm just going to reach in and pull one out and whatever I get is the one I've got to use. Mm, who are you? Who's that? Who are you? So for foundation, I picked the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. This is the one that I use every single day at the moment. Like this is my favorite. However, I've picked it out in shade two and I'm shade one. So it might be a tiny bit dark, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Like I think I'm gonna be able to get away with it, but yeah, what are the chances? I picked one of my faves, but just not quite cause it's not in the right shade, but we were almost there, pretty close. So I don't know if you saw that, but it squirted out. Did it go on my hand? No, no. Did it go on the blanket that I'm sitting on? No. So it's on the carpet. Foundation on the carpet. And I hope that that will come out. I'm gonna try that again, actually. I'm gonna be a little more careful. I'm gonna make a little barrier, because apparently we need it. There we go, out he comes. Oh, that does look like it's gonna be a little bit dark maybe, but should hopefully be all right. So that is the foundation done. I already knew that I would like it because I do really like that foundation and it's a tiny bit dark, like I am definitely shade one, but yeah, foundation is done and also on the carpet. So little bonus there. <laughs> so this is my little concealer bag. Again, not all of them match me. So I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. There are a lot in here that I don't like, but oh, we shall see what we get. I'm trying to find the concealer bag without like looking because I don't want to see the things I've picked because they're right in front of me. So I'm like trying to only look at this side. Mm, okay, I've got one. I've got squeezy tube one. I don't even recognize that. I don't have, 
I don't have any squeezy tube, well obviously I do, I'm holding it. So for concealer I picked the Models Own Cover It Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light 01. Never tried this before actually, I don't think I've ever tried it, so let's give it a go. I didn't even like recognise it, did I, when I pulled it out? I was like, I don't even recognise this, but it's because I've never tried it. Bit of a weird like consistency, it feels almost like a little bit greasy and weird as I'm putting it on with my finger. Yeah, that actually blended out quite nicely. It's like definitely a really full coverage foundation. It's not a foundation. A really full coverage concealer and it's a pretty good colour. It's like brightened my under eyes quite a lot. So yeah, I actually really liked that. So my next category is my powders, as you can very well see. Um, I've got a mixture of like pressed powders, loose powders. You know, there's not that many though. There's not many to pick from, but yeah, these are my powders. You. <gasps> Do you think that's my, oh no, I don't think it is my fave. I know what my fave one feels like and I don't think it is, but it's close. So for powder, I picked the Collection Pressed Powder, and I thought at first that it was my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is my absolute favourite, it's the one I use like all the time, but then I like felt the little ridge here and I was like, mm -mm, you are not. Yeah, I can't remember what I think of this one, I have used it before, but I can't remember what I think of it. Not really much to say about that, although I do have a bad feeling that maybe that is the one that like goes orange the longer it's on, like it oxidises, but we'll have to find out throughout the video, but right now it's definitely done the job, it's mattified my skin a bit, so that is alright. So this next bag is filled with like my bronzers, contoury things, stuff like that. We've got a mixture of like powder ones and stick ones, some like liquidy ones and stuff like that. So, oh no, actually they're concealers, but you know, they're like darker concealers. And yeah, these are my bronzy things. Um, this. So for a bit of bronzy bronze, we've got this one, which I have used before. I used this in that wet brush video that I did, so it's still got like a really gross like layer on it where it got really wet. I'm sure it'll be fine though. So yeah, this is the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the shade bronzer, kiss, something like that. Let's give this one a go then. I'm just gonna dust it all over a bit because it's not really like a contour color. It's definitely quite a like orangey bronzer, but it blends out quite easily and it, you know, well, kind of easily. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it there quickly. I'm currently editing this video and I've realized that my skin is looking a little bit orangey and a little bit patchy. It's just, it's just not looking great. So I wanted to say that I am aware of this. Um, oops, I messed it up apparently. I didn't even realize whilst I was doing it. Yay, anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of the video, bye. I don't think it looks too bad, it's not the best in the world, but it's not too bad. So my next category is my blushes, and they're all in this bag here. I don't really know what else to say, we've got a few different ones, some sticky ones, sticky? Ooh, some stick ones, some powder ones, you know, we've got a little selection, so that's that. Okay, got one. Ooh. So for blush, I've got one of my old favourites, although I don't think I ever used to use this shade, but I used to love the Soap and Glory Made You Blush blush things. No, I used to use the shimmery one, but this is like a matte pinky colour in the shade Rosy Chic. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on my cheeks, like the good old days really. I never use these anymore. There we go. Pretty decent, not much to say about them. I still think they work quite well. It's a shame I didn't pick out the shade that I used to absolutely love. This was probably my second favorite one, so that's all right. <laughs> okay, so this is probably one of my favorite categories in makeup. We've got the highlighter, oh, we've got some fluff. We've got the highlighter bag and yeah, there's quite a few, oh God, it's landed. The fluff has landed. There's quite a few different highlighters in here. We've got powder ones, liquid ones, creamy ones. We've got all sorts. We've also, if I remember, yeah, we've got a broken one as well, so that's great. Um, but yeah, these are my highlighters. Do you know what? Never thought I'd be filming a video where I'm rummaging in Sainsbury's carrier bags for makeup. Like seriously, what am I doing? And blindfolded. What am I doing? <laughs> I just can't pick. There's so many. That, I picked out this. How is that possibly gonna work for me? This is the MUA Shimmer Highlight Powder in the shade Twinkling Violet. I just don't see how you even open it. Oh, it's got a bit of sticky on it. I've never used this before. This is a 
first impression but I don't see how that's gonna work especially as I'm quite pale I think it's just gonna leave like a purple mark on my face but we are gonna give it a go anyway it's like it's still quite like bright like as you can see it's left like a glowy bit but um does it look purple from the front oh actually I don't know you know it's better than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was just gonna leave a bright purple like line but it has still made like a nice iridescent glow so it is quite pretty when it catches the light actually I don't know this is not something that I would choose to use but I suppose you can make it work if you like that kind of thing this one is my eyebrow stuff we've got some eyebrow pencils uh, what else we've got some like pomades and stuff like that I've got a selection really some powders again with this one a lot of them don't match me <laughs> well not a lot of them but quite a few of them don't match me so this could be interesting okay I'm gonna go for that I think that's a powder though isn't it why did I do that I hate brow powders I could have just picked a pencil oh well this is what landed in my hand I thought when I first saw this when I took the blindfold off I thought oh that's fine I know I have this in a shade that matches me this is the benefit foolproof brow powder then I turned it over shade five okay Okay, so obviously they don't look great and they are very dark, but I feel like they don't look as bad as I thought they were going to look. Like, I mean, I feel like because my roots are so dark, I can get away with dark eyebrows if I want to. You know, this is almost like a really dark brown. Like it is. It's almost black. Really dark eyebrows just kind of work because of these bad boys. So my next category is eyeshadow palettes. I've put this in a different bag again because I think it needs a really sturdy bag because they're pretty heavy, but yeah, they go down quite far. I've just got a selection. Oh, I can't even see, jeez. Got a selection of different things all in there. So, oh, I'm gonna have a rummage and see what we get. So that bag was just full of like my eyeshadow palettes. I do have a separate bag of like my face palettes, but obviously I've already picked like my face stuff. So we don't need to go through the face bag Ooh, the face bag and I also have another bag of like more like creamy individual eyeshadows and liners and stuff like that and like crayon eyeshadows so I won't use that either I think I'm just gonna pick an eyeshadow palette okay I can't lift the palettes bag but it is down here I can't even get to the bottom they're just so heavy I think I've got one this this one so for my eyeshadow palette i've got the revolution ultra eyeshadows and i don't i haven't even opened it yet i don't know what this is i can't remember oh oh ah so these are the eyeshadows that are in there pretty standard actually they're pretty basic i feel like i should also pick them without looking just to make it a little bit more fun shouldn't i i'm just gonna look away and i'm just gonna go okay so for my crease i'm gonna go with A really shimmery, bronzy colour. Let's pick like another one to go in the corner a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a sparkly black. This is just making an absolute mess. Like I'm not used to darker colors and this, no, 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 no. This is not working out for me. Everything is ruined. Okay, I've tried my best to blend it out. I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Looking like a bit of a mess now, but it's not my fault. I would not have chosen a sparkly black to go through there, like honestly. Yeah, I'm now gonna pick the color to go on my eyelid. Hopefully it's something good to try and save this, but okay, three, two, one. Ooh, so we do have a nice like shimmery color. It's like a gold, I'd say. Looks like a gold. Something's gone right. I'm now just gonna pick something to go like underneath. So that'll be my last one. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Okay, so we've got, is it black again? Oh no, that one's different. I did have that one before. It's the one above it. It's like a slightly more bluey toned color. Okay. Oh my goodness, I put way too much on. It's all like spreading. It's spreading everywhere. So this is my eyeshadow done. Um, I certainly wouldn't normally do it like this, but this is what my subconscious mind chose. So 
there we go that is my eyeshadow done <laughs> so these are all of my mascaras a lot of them are actually dried out i think i need to have a good old sort out of these so yeah we could end up picking one that's actually not even working but we shall see what we get and um, there's quite a few different ones in there some of them are quite old as well so yeah these are my mascaras <laughs> This one. Also for mascara, I picked up the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I used to love this one. I hadn't used it in ages. I don't know if it's run out. Oh no. I'd say this sounds like there's still some gloop in there. That's good. I wasn't sure if it would run out, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do my mascara and then I will be back. Just on a little bit and also a little bit here, you know, exactly where I wanted it. I will pick that off when it dries in a minute. Okay, so this is definitely the most full up bag of all of them. These are all of my lip products. I've got my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, uh, lip liners. Literally every lip product I own is in this bag. So yeah, we could quite literally pick out anything. And we have a giant bag of lip products. I don't even know if that's in shot. That's the thing. I don't even know what you guys can see because I can't see anything. But hopefully you can see. Oh, I'm going to have to hold it on my lap. Right. Let's grab a lip product. All right. That one. And then finally for my lips, I picked up. This is actually new. Like this what are the chances out of all of those lipsticks in that bag and I picked up one that was from my PO box thing the other day where I got like loads of these lip thingies from Urban Decay this one's in this one's in the shade Savage I like that so it's like a bright pink which I don't like so much I would never normally wear like a lip color like this that is what we're going for today I think these are like glosses as well which is is is, 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 is also not the sort of thing I'd go for oh that is like luminous. I am just gonna give this a go. It's gonna go great with my like, like my dark eyes and then my like bright pink lip. I'm getting a waft. Oh, mint scented. Oh my God, it's actually like tingling. It's so tingly and minty. Like I love how it feels, but I would not normally wear something like this. Like definitely not my kind of thing. And there we go, this is my full face of makeup, chosen, blindfolded. This is what happens when I choose my makeup without looking and it's all just down to pure luck. It was a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and if you want me to do more like makeup challenge things, I will definitely do that. Thanks for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.